Hello fellow YouTubians. Today I'm going to talk about secularization in public state schools, which I know sounds very boring and analytical and snore-worthy, but I've actually had a recent personal experience, so I'd just like to share it with the internet because everyone knows that Everyone loves sharing about their experiences on the internet because it brings us closer together as a family. Anyway, my 10-year-old sister recently came home from class at school saying to me that I don't believe in God, which I secretly was very, very happy with, but didn't reveal my feelings in fear of upsetting my mum who, as I mentioned before, is a lazy Christian. I was very surprised at her admission, and of course I was, and I asked why and how she came to this conclusion. And she said that her religious classes at school, she does half an hour of religion class every week, are mandatory. She is signed into them automatically. She said that stories they were telling her just didn't make sense. She said, how could all of those animals fit on the ark? Wouldn't they kill each other? Which is a very good point for a 10-year-old to make. And I congratulate her on that kind of out-of-the-box thing. So that prompted me to ask her, well, do you want to continue participating in your weekly religious classes? And she said, yes, she still wants to go, which surprised me because if you don't believe in what you're being taught, then what's the point in taught it? And she told that kids who don't do religious classes in her public school have to go to the library for that duration, an hour, and do comprehension tasks. And if I could put myself in the shoes of a 10 year old and I have the choice of going to a half hour religious class in which they receive lollies and sweets and chocolate getting correct answers or going to the leaf for half an hour and reading and doing comprehension tasks then I can't blame her for staying in that class regardless of the position that she takes on what is being taught. I was a bit outraged, to be honest. I felt like sending an angry letter to the principal, but I stopped myself and realised that it's a problem with the curriculum instead of the school itself, because I found that it is a common occurrence in all public state schools, at least here in Australia. I'm not sure about overseas, I'll have to explain my ethnocentricity, but it is a common practice for kids to be shoved into Christian religious classes regardless of their religious beliefs, their lack thereof. Now what I'm proposing and what some of the very clever people in the secularist lobby are proposing as well is ethics and moral classes to be offered as an alternative to religious classes. I mean, I'm dead against having the religious classes there in the first place because there is supposed to be a separation of church and state and it is a public school in which those children's parents have decided not to specifically send them to a religious school. Why are they being taught religion? Anyway, that's not the point. The point is whether the kids are being offered an alternative and at the moment they're not. So throughout New South Wales they are trialling a morals and ethics class in which children who don't want to do a religious class are given the choice to spend their half hour with a trained morals and ethics teacher, a volunteer, same as the religious classes, and they will be taught free thought, sceptical thinking, uh, non-Bible based morals and values. I mean of course the Bible and normal human values have 
values that lap over. I'm not saying disregard the Bible at all, but don't use it as a main source of teaching kids how to interact with each other and other people in the world. I'm saying give them the tools to think rationally, to think logically, to think emotionally about how they treat others, how they treat themselves, and how they live their lives when they're older, because they are at an age now where if you give them the right ideas, they can go on to do great things because around about the age of 10, 11, 12, they're discovering that people will not always tell them the truth. I mean, they're figuring this out with Santa, with the Easter Bunny, all these things that trusted people in their lives, their parents, their teachers, have been telling them aren't turning out to be true. So if we can get trustworthy adults to teach them skills that they will use in the future for good instead of for discrimination and evil, which I think is very much what is happening in these religious classes, then I think that future generations will be much better off with these skills and these talents that they learn by rationalising moral decisions and by getting other people's point of view and discussing it in groups and doing group activities and generally getting them engaged in secularist forms of thinking as well as humanist, atheistic, even some different philosophies, Confucian, Buddhism, all of these different philosophies that children can really gain a lot of knowledge that they wouldn't necessarily get from Christian religious classes because they tend to stick to what they know, which is the Bible. And as my sister said, a lot of those stories, A, don't make sense, and B, aren't reliable with regards to teaching kids morals or values. And C, are just utterly ridiculous and prove how petty and violent and irresponsible God really was. So, oh, was, is, never is, never was, whatever your stance on it is. I just wanted to get people's opinions on whether they think that religious classes should have a place in public schools. I personally don't, but maybe you think that they have a place there to teach kids various things? Or do you want morals and ethics in your school instead? Tell me what you think. Thanks.